Greetings, my friends. This is absolutely stunning stuff. This is beyond words. Matthew 24, the rapture slash tribulation scripture in the Bible, is we're ready to go for the rapture. We've already finished verse 13. Verse 14 is when the tribulation begins. And the rapture has to happen before the tribulation. And that's biblical. Some people can say otherwise. But if they say so, they're not following the Bible. The Bible says clearly in 150 different scriptures that I've found that it's definitely pre-tribulation. And regardless, the tribulation is upon us as well. This is, this is amazing, amazing, amazing stuff. This is breaking news, by the way. The final rapture and tribulation imminent warning is happening right now. And we fly soon. Now it's time for the D-10 to replace the G-7. We know in Daniel's vision about the, the giant, and we know about the ten kingdoms that are going to dominate the world in the time of the Antichrist. The world will be put into ten separate kingdoms. We've had a G-8 before. <clears throat> they bumped Russia out to make it the G-7, and I'll, I'll have more on that uh, momentarily. And they've thought, wait a minute, you know, we've got to expand this. We've got to make this all-encompassing. So let's do this, the UN said. Let's make something where we take all the best economies, all the strongest militaries, uh, other than Israel. Israel is not in this because, again, Israel goes it alone in the tribulation. And if Israel is part of this of this G, of this D10, of uh, this demonic 10, this devil 10, this demon 10, you get where I'm coming from. That's what I think the D stands for. That's my personal opinion. That Israel cannot belong to this because she goes it alone. The tribulation only God protects her. So let's get the ten biggest economies, the ten strongest co uh, countries militarily, and let's put them together. So for the G10, this is amazing, amazing, amazing stuff. And this this trying to it's trying to mess with me here, trying to mess with my uh, stuff. But the devil lies, and I rebuke him in Jesus' name. I'll get back to my to my on track now, which I am. So the countries in the D10 are this, and you'll see in the thumbnail. And notice that the U.S. flag is all the way to the very end just before the EU, okay? The U.S. has lost so much standing in the world. So we've got we've got Australia, South Korea, Canada, Italy, France, the U.K., Germany, Japan, the U.S., and the European Union, of course. That's where the Antichrist is from, the European Union, by his heritage, by his lineage, if you will. <clears throat> and this D10, well, they are, the, they are the cream of the crop of the whole world. Now, you, you might ask, Where's Russia and where's China? Okay, here's what's going on with that. As I said, Russia was removed from the old G8, and they claim for whatever reason. But, see, Russia is Magog. Russia's leader, Putin, is Gog. As I, I've been saying this for the last decade, and I'll be proven right after the imminent rapture. Not that I'm anything. I take my leading from the Lord, from the Holy Bible. And that's why Russia's not in this. Russia's going to be totally wiped off the, off the map except for a small remnant when they try to attack Israel at the Battle of Gog, Magog, take them off. China is a kings of the east. They're going to be coming down with, with, with a humongous army, and they're going to wipe out just a, a, probably one and a half, two billion people on earth, and they may be a country that will not want to, they definitely don't want to join with the other countries, and they may be a country that the Antichrist butts head with eventually and destroys, because the Bible says there'll be several different countries that the Antichrist takes out because they won't play ball. So that's why those two countries aren't there, I'm, I'm convinced of. <clears throat> and it's amazing. This is happening right now at this same UN, like I told you last week. They want peace and safety. They want all this. Th th their agenda, uh, from what I can see in the Bible, lines up perfectly with, with Revelation's Antichrist agenda of the tribulation. And this is amazing, 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 amazing to the 10th power stuff. We need to understand that we are on a threshold of eternity. Nothing has to happen for the rapture to happen. Nothing has to happen for the tribulation to happen with the rapture. And the rapture is so close, I can taste it. I mean, I, I, I can feel it in my spirit. And I'm sure that many of you can as well. Make sure you're ready to go because we're running out of time. Witness to as many as you can. Lead as many to Christ as you can through the Holy Spirit so you won't be left behind to deal with the hellish nightmare, which will be the tribulation and great tribulation. Pray the prayer, do the six steps I have in the box below the video. If you're unsaved or backslidden, no one's guaranteed more time. If you like prayer, contact me. I pray for you every day. I love you all dearly. Look up true Christians. Our different draw now. We fly soon. May God bless you. Share all my sermons, all my videos. I'm always censored. I've been looking for this sign, my friends, my whole life. It's here right now. Praise the Lord. We are so close to going home. Make sure you share. May God bless you. I love you. We fly soon, too, Christians. We're almost out of this hellhole. Bye.